Um, I One of the hugest lessons that has come from my life journey these past 40 years has been God teaching me that when you serve, you also receive. And when you come at life with a heart and with an intention to be of service to people, then you are also taken care of in a surprising and amazing ways. And it might not be ways that you predict or that you exactly understand. Like I would have never, ever assumed that somebody opening the wrong door in my house would lead to me selling work in New York City. Like that wasn't even part of my comprehension, but it started with service first. And like you, I can only learn that and know that looking back and recognizing wow, God's words are true and are powerful. When we serve others, the glory of God and God's kingdom is revealed and we are able to like receive and have our eyes opened and our heart open to the ways that God works in our world and in our lives. But um, it takes a willingness of heart and a humbleness, I think, to be in a place of service. So. I have tried to apply that to my artwork in ways that I see my work as a tool of, of healing for other people, of a peace, of calm, and I have developed a commissions process, like a custom piece of artwork process that makes this piece of artwork valuable to the patron and to the person buying it because it's about them, it's about their story, it's about capturing their legacy through my hands. So I guess, yeah, that I think has been one of the biggest lessons ever, has been like, it's really important to me to, have, to come from a place of purity of expression balanced with a way that my artwork can serve someone. So I, I read once that your vocation, you know your vocation is connected to the desires of your heart when what you love and what you're passionate about also combines with one of the world's greatest needs. And I love that. I love that because um, think, I think of the reward and that satisfaction that I receive when I know that my work has impacted somebody in a really powerful and positive way. And I know like that can only be the Holy Spirit. Like that can only be God working through me and it's and creating and creation and artistry kind of merges from a perceivably selfish process to a service process. So I think it's so crucial for me and, and maybe other artists too to realize that the creation process has to start as a somewhat selfish process, but then ultimately for its fulfillment and completion end up to be a service process. So how can you create and stand in that confidence that you are meant to do this, like you are meant to be this creator, but then finalize that creation by allowing what you create to serve somebody. When I start a piece, um, staring at that blank canvas can be the most intimidating, like knee knocking, shaking, scary process, right? Yes. Because um, it's sometimes like, though that's when like sometimes those voices of inse insecurity come out when you can't control that final process. So when I begin a pro project or a painting, I pray over that painting, and sometimes I will write a prayer on that blank canvas so it's not blank anymore. It's a dedication. So um, physically, that's how I prepare a painting to begin with. But when it's a commission, when it's a pr painting that is very personal and is a project that is dedicated to somebody's story, I have a sit down conversation with my client and I get to know them and I get to know their story. And oftentimes that process looks like what, you know, are their favorite colors, but also on a deeper realm, like what would you like this painting to 
capture and hold and then it becomes this really interpersonal dialogue of getting to know somebody's background getting to know their heart and what they want me to be a conduit of for this piece of artwork i did recently a painting a commission for a family that one of their favorite pastimes is to go rock hounding and collecting of agates in the north east um, great lakes and she, this this woman collected so many incredible beautiful agates with her family and these stones were this just this incredible symbol of just richness and connection with her girls and with her husband and she wanted she told me the story of her mother passing as well as like this these experiences that she's had with her family on these vacations that bonded them and connected them unlike any other experiences that she's had with them and she wanted that captured in a painting and she gave me these agates and she said i want you to in integrate them into the piece and tell the story um, in your interpretation uh, with a painting so that was pretty magical to um, have created something like that but again when I start something like that it's a prayer it's an asking of God please help me be a conduit of somebody else's story and let this piece essentially be a legacy for their family a remembrance of what's important and what they value that's amazing so where can people find you if they want to talk to you about your work or commission, get a commissioned piece for themselves? Where would they look? Well, they could call me right up. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome to put my number here on the on the okay. uh, YouTube post. But they can also visit me online at artistjennymcgee.com. Okay. And I have an Instagram and Facebook page as well. Oh.